Hello, Fit Bottom Girls. Welcome back for another core workout at home using things you can find around your house. And today I'm going to be using a broomstick. And you're going to notice I took off the end of the broom. If you want to leave it on, feel free. Let's get right into this. It's going to be a quick workout. We're doing four exercises, all with the broomstick. And our goal is to be able to get this workout in done in 10 minutes. So there's no excuses. Anyone can squeeze this in any day. 10 minutes. Let's get started. What I'm going to get you to do is you can be doing this just on a carpeted area or on a yoga mat. And I'm going to get you to hold on to the broomstick. So you're about shoulder width apart. And then you're going to notice that I put about a 90 degree bend in my knees. And all I want you to do is put the broomstick on your knees. And we're just going to follow your legs all the way, the way down to your ankles. So we're rounding forward, getting a little stretch in our back. And then we're going to take that broomstick and follow it to our knees. And you're going to notice I'm leaning back tall chest so we're trying to avoid this tall chest and you can just start to slide it down your thighs the further we slide down our thighs the more resistance that goes into our abs the more core core work we're going to feel make sure your heels stay planted on the floor you're going to notice that they really want to come up off the floor and then we bring it all the way back down so here's a quick little relaxation for our abs and then slowly again this isn't a race tall chest, flat back. Let's see if we can slide it down a little bit further. So I've got it halfway down, no, a quarter of the way down my thighs. And I can feel abs starting to tremble. Heels want to pull off the ground. So I'm going to stop right there. We're going to do a set of 10. So we've done two. Really slowly, let's see if we can lean back a little bit further. Really strengthening, particularly upper abs in this exercise. Come on back forward. A little stretch in our back, a little relaxation for our core. Slide it back. Slide it back. Think tall chest. Think chin away from chest. You're going to notice that your chin's going to want to really crunch down to your chest, and that's your body's mechanism of shortening up the lever. I talk a lot about leverage. When I do this, my torso becomes shorter. Gravity has less pull. It means I'm doing less work. Think chin away from the chest, long, lengthening that lever from your hips to the top of your head, creating a little bit more resistance, a little more work in your core. The neat thing about an exercise like this is it's 100% variable. So if you're just starting off, maybe this is it right here. We just come to the top of our knees and then right back down. You can hold there. If you're a little more advanced, you can probably come partway down your thighs. Like I said, make sure heels stay on the floor. Let's do a set of four. And you should feel a little bit of shaking going on in your abs. This is almost an isometric, so we're almost doing a stationary, a complete hold while our abs are in a contracted position. And that's generally where we start to get those shaky core muscles. Good. Last one. And back to the top. Awesome. What I need you to do next is we're just going to lie down on our mat. And we're going to be doing what's called an atomic crunch. So anytime we crunch up chest towards the knees, again, we're targeting upper abs. And this is tough, tough combo after what we just did. What I get you to do is, again, holding the broomstick so we've got about shoulder width apart with our hands. And I'm just going to get you to take it and let that broom fall over top of your head. So a little chest stretch. Uh, Nice and relaxing. You can just hang out here for the rest of the workout. And then what I'm going to get you to do is, with a 90 degree bend in your knees, we're going to bring this broomstick up. And maybe if you're just starting out, we can be right here. We can just touch our knees. And then come on back down. Try it again. We're going to come up, touch our knees, right back down. If you want a little more work, we're going to force our hips to curl towards our chest. And that's where we really activate those lower abs. So let's try this together. Broomstick overhead. We're going to come up. And this time, we're going to pull our hips up. So you notice my tailbone's actually pulling up off the floor. And I'm going to go down and touch my ankles. And then come on back down. Think about really slow and controlled on the way down. Try this again. Up, touch ankles. Notice how slow this is. Again, we're holding our core almost like it's in an isometric contraction. 
So it's holding resistance, working against gravity, come on back down. If you're feeling ambitious, let's touch our toes. We come up, touch our toes, right back down. Again, tune in with your speed. We're going so slowly, touch those toes. Come on back down, let's try a set of five. We're up, touch, right back down. So this exercise, really targeting upper abs, again, because we're getting that crunch, and then lower abs because we're pulling our hips towards our chest. Good. Let's do two more. Touch. Good. Last one. Touch. Good. And let's sit up. So this next exercise, this admittedly is a bit of a strange looking one. What I'm going to get you to do is we're going to sit down on our right hip and just have two bent knees, just like I'm doing right here. I'm going to get you again. Hold on. About, uh, shoulder width apart on the broomstick. We're going to plant that on our right side. So I'm sitting on my right hip. Broomstick's planted on the right side. Now what I want you to do, just hold this. So we're putting, I'm actually putting a fair bit of weight into this broomstick. All I want you to do is lift up that left leg, bring it back down. What do you feel? When we lift up that leg, you should really feel it's called your glute medius. So outside of your butt cheek. This is a, a butt workout. We're going to add core in in just a second. Try one more. Good. Now, this time we're going to do that exact same movement, except we're going to pick up this broomstick off the floor. So as opposed to all our weight shifting back into the broomstick, our core muscles are going to engage and keep our chest nice and tall. So try it with me. We pick up that leg, bring it back down. Broom touches. Broom comes up. Leg comes up. Good. Now we're going to add one more motion into this. Leg comes up. Broom comes up. And then we rotate and touch broom to foot. Come back down and rest. And this should feel like a huge glute workout, huge amount of work on our butt, but also obliques on the left-hand side. So let's try 10 together. We're going to come and touch. Bring it down for one. Two. And it should almost feel like that left butt cheek's going to cramp up. It's working so hard to lift that leg off the ground. It's one of those movements, if you saw someone doing this at the gym, you'd think, well, that looks easy. <laughs> until you try it yourself and realize how much work is going in here. Let's try for five. We've got one. So right now, left butt cheek, left obliques. It's like we're doing a side crunch, a very advanced side crunch. Touch. Bring it back. Touch. See if you can really get that left leg up off the right leg. So we're bringing the entire leg up off the floor, not just our foot. Good. Let's do one more. And back down. Great. We've got two sides. So we've got to work both sides. Flip it over. Same position. Let's try a couple here just as a practice. So this time we're sitting on our left hip. We've got that broom firmly planted on the left side. Raise that right leg up. And you're going to notice right away, our body weight shifts to the back. So it shifts over into that broom handle on the left side. Try it again. We've got it. We're all set. So this time we're going to go up, touch, bring it back, and plant. Side crunch, glued active, bring it back and plant on the left side. Right butt cheek, right obliques. Try it again. Here's four of ten. Touch. Come on back. Again, it's a pretty low intensity exercise, so you, you shouldn't be breathing really heavy right now. We're not really working our cardiovascular system. But it's an awesome exercise for cinching in the waist around the sides, again, obliques. And then I'd say even more importantly, working our glutes, that glute medius I talked about, the outside of the butt cheek, it's one of those muscles we neglect so much. When people do legs, typically it's the front of your legs, your quads, maybe hamstrings, maybe calves. Rarely do people spend time, particularly the outside of your butt cheeks, really strengthening those glutes. Touch. Let's do two more. Touch. 
relax, last, touch, and then relax. Good. Can you feel that in your glutes right here? Should feel like we just did a ton of work. Our next exercise, again, we're always holding in this about shoulder width distance on the broomstick. I want to get you to do is sit nice and tall with the broomstick out in front of you, just like this. And all I'm going to get you to do is touch the broomstick so it's right beside your hip. And then touch the broomstick so it's right beside your hip. So we're just doing a rotation. And if I were to sit here and just look forward and I'm just rotating with my arms, this is a good starting position, but what I want you to progressively try and do is actually rotate your torso so that you're facing to the side. Try it. So we actually rotate our shoulders are facing to one side, and then I rotate shoulder facing towards you. And you can notice a big difference. As soon as we do that rotation with our shoulders, again, our obliques really engaged. If you want to try this with me, we're going to bring feet up. Still rotate. Still rotate. Look to one side. Think about bringing your shoulder right over the top and facing it, facing it forward as we twist. Good. We're going to do a set of 20. I'm going to call this number six. Number seven. Eight. Stay with me. The tendency is to speed up. We want to get this done. Nine. Might feel some work going on in your hips right now, keeping those legs up. Just by nature, bringing these legs up we engage our lower abs. Good. Let's do eight. Good. Six. Just four. Nice. Last two. And done. Awesome. So about 10 minutes just with a broomstick. Some pretty unique ways to train your core. If you like this core workout, visit my blog, makeyourbodywork.com, where I've got all of my full-length workouts free for you to try. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and hopefully you'll join me for the rest of this core workout series at home at Fit Bottom Girls.